I, I, my nickname is Painless Lee. Okay, <laughs> so we'll be nice and gentle. You. This is actually a little bigger than it looks like. Um, and there's a little punctum right there, and we're gonna hide it right in like a little smile line and remove that little punctum. So we're just gonna do a tiny little, just a little incision. They already said that on me. So where this was, they know that I'm like the queen of trying to make the smallest incision in this area. I heard them talking, they're like, that's gonna be such a small incision. <laughs> I heard you guys. Try to do that at least. I shouldn't jinx myself at this point. So you can see that there's a little punct in there, a little opening. And you're okay over there too, mom, right? We're not gonna have more than one patient here, correct? Yeah. Okay, good. And you're okay, right, Missy? Yes, ma'am. Okay, good. Sorry. Let's see if I can see it yet. Let me see. I'm not gonna push on it too hard yet. I'm try to get to it either. Let me see it. Okay. It's kind of a little liquefied right now, so I'm just gonna squeeze out a little, like a little bit of. Definitely a cyst. What kind of cyst? Like an epidermoid cyst. Really common. Know. Yeah. That's the most common type of cyst. So I'm just squeezing on you. you. I hope you don't feel anything really hurting you or anything. Okay. But I'm just putting pressure on it. Let's see. Squeezing a lot of the contents out. Probably grew kind of quickly lately. Uh huh. Yeah. It got inflamed or something, I think. So I'm doing it one more time. Did you see that little mama? You okay? Maybe we'll pushing you? It's fine. You sure? Yeah? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna try not to talk though. Just so I don't you know, disturb you for some reason, but you're gonna be fine. If it pinches, you let me know, because I put, I'll put some numbing underneath there, but I'm just kind of trying to squeeze a lot of it out first. Okay. It's down up on this side. Do you have any problems with your teeth or anything? No, like uh, cavities or anything on your upper teeth over here, right? No. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna put a little more numbing under there now. Let's see. So now, because I numb, I I opened it and kind of squeeze a lot of it out. I feel more confident putting numbing under there because there's not I'm not blowing up a balloon. More numbing there, but I'm gonna just really squeeze it around and massage it, see if I can get a lot of it out there. Doing great. Now I'm just gonna like tug on you a little bit. Again, make sure I'm not hurting you. Let's see if I can get this out whole. This little sack. Well, I know the sack is what's around it, so I can see a little of it, but it also depends. There's so many little factors that it depends on, like how thin is the sack? Is it gonna like tear easily or is it gonna come out in a nice piece? When it comes out in a nice piece, it's fabulous. Mm -hmm. I don't wanna get too presumptuous yet and then and then say, oh, it's not so, it's not so easy. So let me just get some of the stuff out of it. Just tugging on you. If it hurts, let me know, okay? Mm-hmm. Dad, let it in up there. Thank you. Just see if I can see it at all. You're doing awesome. Great. Did you guys always live in California? I see. So this is pretty much where you were born, where you were raised. How recently was this thing like angry? Just as of late or has it been angry and it's somewhat calmed down? It, it, it had its own ebbs and flows. It would oh. spring up and then would slow so down. So multiple times it's done this. Yeah, this is the biggest that I felt it. Okay. I used to try to put Colgate on it. <laughs> uh-huh. It just wouldn't dry up. 
No, because it's a cyst under there. Okay. And it's just partially broken down, so I just have to take my time and really kind of work it out since I'm trying to get it again out of a small little area. So just make sure I'm not tugging on you hard or anything. Cause okay. I do think I numbed a lot of it up, but in case I pinch you or something. Okay. And I have been taking Scratch antibiotics. Yeah. Sorry, sorry. See? Thank you. Thank you for telling me. My code. These are make sure you got it all because there's like the sack is somewhat broken down or stuck to you. You know what I mean. You've probably seen enough. Do you watch a lot of these videos? Good number. Of, yeah. Okay. So you know you could probably do this if I gave you all the instruments. But that presents a problem in terms of trying to make sure we get it all. Let me just stop and take a look at the area because that skin right above that is very. You can see it looks flatter though, right, Mama? Yeah, it does. And I can see see the pieces that are in there? Yeah. They're like little, uh, it's almost like little flakes of paper that's smushed down. I can see part of the sack, but it's not gonna come on without a fight. It's okay, we gotta freaking fight it. See, it's like it's peeling off. I'm just going to take my time. If you're okay and comfortable under there, you can take a little nap. And I you know you won't really take a nap, but we're going to just take our time and get all of this off since we have time here. It's like you can see it because it looks like silver skin, you call it. You know, like when you're, when you, I'm sorry, it's always food. Like when you cook veal or, I don't know, like a pork or something. And sorry, I'm comparing you to pork. I don't need to do that. But it has that little, um, You okay? Mm-hmm. Okay. Scar tissue. I can even hear me, hear that sound of it. Being very uh, stiff right there. Do you want to see over here at the head, or do you think it'll... Um, no? It's okay, you don't have to. I didn't want you to... If you come over here, you can see. Come over here, I wanted to show you. So you can understand this. So, see how there's... See, there's... Careful, just don't touch that table. Okay. okay. See that? That's the little bit of the cyst. Oh. Okay. So we're, like, essentially trying to... It's like wallpaper on your wall. Uh -huh. You're trying to pick off little pieces off. of it. Little pieces. Because it's stuck to her. See how it's stuck? Mm-hmm. It's not stuck, but some of it is. So it kind of dies down into this area here. You kind of felt that, but it dies into that okay. area there. So I'm just trying to slowly get that out of this little hole. That's it. Okay. It's a little monotonous, but if you'd be interested in it's seeing that. Already. Yes, it does. The main thing is that it's hard because it's like. I love it when they come out whole because then you know you get it all. You know? Yeah. But now it's like harder. Can you just gently pull that back like this? And brace yourself if you can under there. Pull this up just a pretty bit. A little bit. There you go. Because it's stuck right here. here the skin and then I just trimmed it a little and there's like a little bit of cyst hanging on the upper edge see that a little bit, a little bit. I'm glad I have all this time with you <laughs> if not we wouldn't be able to make do a good job with this I 
Well, I would, I, I'm going to hold off on my happiness right now because I would just want to make sure it doesn't come back. So I don't want to, no, you know, I'm, of course I'm happy to see you guys, but I want to make sure I will be really happy if this never comes back. And that's why we're working so hard with this. So thank you for calling us. I appreciate it. And again, thank you to Valerie for figuring it all out. Uh, I think yesterday she's like, well, I'm going to put her in tomorrow. I'm like, okay. She's a lover. I'm just making sure. I'm calling this the Godfather just because it's like every time I think I'm out, it pulls me back in. All right, that is the last look. Let me look. Let me look. This is the last look. I mean, you sure you don't see anything else hiding under there? Dang it, man. That was, that was a tough little bother. I don't see anything, I don't think, anymore, but I said that the last time. And I found something hidden. Okay, sis. Now I'm doing my sis juju. No more sis. skin also kind of makes it more challenging. You're just a challenge all around. <laughs> I have a feeling mom is the more watcher of the show than she is, huh? Oh, I'm definitely the watcher. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so what are you watching again, Mom? <laughs> I'm paying close attention. Uh -huh. See how good it is? It's so hard to take a proper bite there. Let's see how that works. Oh, we're trying. It's, it's, this is very challenging, like I said, because one side is very thin. And it's actually so thin, it's very hard to even get a stitch. I'm going to change this up. Is it thin because of the... The cyst skin? was growing up. Remember when it was really white there? Mm -hmm. Lighter? Because it, mm -hmm. so, it thinned the skin overlying it. Mm -hmm. So you could almost see it through it. And then this side is a lot thicker. Mm -hmm. So it's like you have to sew one really fat piece to a really thin piece. Mm -hmm. So you have a cell phone that you a cell phone number you can text us if you have any questions or concerns in the meantime, right? Yeah. We're gonna see you in one week to take out the stitches. Okay. Monday to Monday is best. I don't like to really leave stitches in longer on the face um, um, before beyond seven days because it can cause a little line there, maybe more so. Yeah, I think that's good. 
So with this one, two girls, when you take the stitches out, because I don't think I can get it deep in there because of the fact that that is um, so thin on the other side, make sure we put steri strips and, and glue because, you know, this is obviously a very mobile area. So I really want her to, after seven days, she doesn't really have any strength under there. So I want there to be some strength of like a glue and tape. Uh, one of my girls here does. Okay. They're better at that than I am. They're also better at bandages than I am. So they're going to do that. But I'll, I'll, am I here that day? Oh, wait, today's Tuesday. So, yeah, I'll be here on that day, If it's, especially if it's like earlier in the morning, you know, before. I don't even know if I'm doing anything that afternoon. But, Monday? Yeah, on Monday. I mean, no, Tuesday, right? Because today's Tuesday, right? Yeah, today's yeah. Tuesday. So she can come on Tuesday. Then I'll be here. And I could help, I could possibly take the stitches out, or certainly I'll be for overseeing it. If, I come, if, you come on, if you come on Tuesday. Okay. So it's probably better for you to come on Tuesday. Anyway, so that one of these girls too, or make sure that they're here. These are my two right hand girls, so they're the ones that know how to do all the stuff the best. So I'm just hoping I got it all. There's a lot of little um, obstacles there, Missy. Definitely gave us a little bit of a challenge, even though it wasn't too much. Still a little bit of a challenge there. I'm gonna take this down.